Oh, I'm muted! Hello, now I'm not muted! <laughs> thank you, Senri! Hello, Detective Chio! Welcome to the gang and thank you for the following, let me roll the die for you! you get a 17, which is a good luck for writing today! I just wanted to say hello to everyone, hello, Arrow, good show today! Hello, Sako, thank you for being here! And hello to Senri and Percy! And I wanted to ask if you always do the Team Rocket thing. Mm, because it's great! I love it so much! Hats off! Oh wait, uh, means I need to put an, a, a hat, right? Wait, wait, wait! No, chat, come back here! Oh no, I'm not used to it. You're the first one sending to do this. <laughs> wait, wait! I have many hats. I'm gonna put a hat for you. Um, what kind of hat do we put for this? Where's the chat? No, oh, everything is a mess. Here's the chat. No, but. It was fitting here. Oh, it was great. Hello, Jade. Hey. Okay. Um, let me put. You know what? I have a classic hat here. Oh, that's a great writer hat. <gasps> oh, I have too many hats. You know what? Let's go with an academic hat. Yeah. Go with this one. Here's a nice hat. An academic hat. Hey. Poster check. Yeah. Oh, I'm sitting straight and hydrate. Mmm. Nom nom. Water and I have some coffee. I'm gonna write so much. We're gonna write so much today. I also have the Um Uh Wait a second. Yeah, let's open the file. Where is it? Where's the file? Um I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna copy this, I'm gonna name this Percy. First time I heard this music for a whole stream, I was like, oh my god, this music is so annoying, but now I can't stop. I'm addicted to this music. Okay, let's share the, the word screen. Did you check the EST thing? I'm number five. Oh, really? Well, well let me let me check that. Let's try, let's, uh, let's open this and I'll check that. So many things happening at the same time. Where's Ward? Hello, Ward. Hello, Ward. Pew, pew, pew. Let me shrink myself here. And we do have the template from Ember Schwarzer. Let me just... Uh, uh, yeah, sounds good. Here. And let's go... Here. Yes, T. Perfect. Um, I'll set it up after my current stream. You're a group. Um, wait. Yeah, you're a group. Okay. We have a party. Now let's focus on this thing. So, we're gonna write about Percy. And naturally, we're gonna write about Senri as well. Oh, wait, let me get just schedule. We have a new collab here. Wednesday Hmm 9 You know what, that's good, that's good, 9 9, 9, 9 Wheat Cherry I'm so addicted Refilling my, my schedule with collabs became like a puzzle game I'm just addicted There's no time to sleep, no time to eat, just one more and more and more collabs Every time I'm not streaming feels weird, really. 
So we know this is Percy... Percival. Um, and we're also gonna write a bit about... About scenery. Doesn't need sleep, needs collab. Yes, collab is my food. Damn, I'm exhausted. <laughs> well, Arrow, you did uh, a lot today with the show. If you haven't seen Arrow's variety show today, he gets new streamers every time, amazing streamers. Got some really popular ones, uh, ones as well. Um, Senri. Also, Senri and Percy. Um, I get vibes of... Um, I'd say... Senri is the queen, feels like 25-ish, 26, and Percy like a 28, but tell me if I'm wrong in, according to your lore, and whatever you're not going to tell me, I'm going to make up. So we're gonna write some about um, summary, past, present, future. Basically, what you've done, been done in the past, what you're doing right now, and what you aim to do in the future. Mm -hmm. Next, we have some locations and maybe hobbies. Yeah, this is good. I'm taking the template from Ember because it works really well. And then we have some Percy's powers, which is good. I can use SD for now. And these are the goals. Um, well, let's put it here for now. And I like dreams as well. And if we, if we feel like we need to add something, we'll add to it. And whatever you feel like... Like adding or telling me, hey, do this, do that, change this, change that, then just go ahead. Now these are the easy part, but we're gonna do them at the end. So let's start by writing some stuff that we know from you. I could go back to the original PNG lore that I wrote for Percy, but I feel like it would be more interesting if we start from nothing. Could be more interesting. So Kitsune Court Maj Mage and <laughs> Maj Mage and Keeper of the Royal Library. And married to Senri. Or, well, Twitter says taken. We don't know if that's married. Mm. Could be her personal guard. Oh, we have some Sweden. Mm, I don't know if that's related to the lore. We do have some... Wolf magic. No, no, no wolf, sorry. Fox magic. Naturalism from Purple Fire. Mm -mm 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 -mm. We also have a relationship to Osric, the bard. We know that you shared a body one time. At least, not sure about Percy, but Senri is 568. Oh, that's good. Good to know. That puts Percy at 95 from what I know. Okay. That's nice. Hydrate. Thank you so much, Katsuya Kuro-chan. Mm. Nothing like a good hydrate. Um, check out Kuro. I can't shout out her because she's on YouTube, but check out Kuro later. Uh, we're going to collab on Wednesday? Where is it? I think Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday. Not 100% sure what we're going to do, but we, we will. Also, if you stay after this stream, in two hours from now, I'm going to do one-on-one -on -one D and D with a with a wolf girl VTuber named Catbug Soup, who is a real-life nurse. Mm. She never played D and D, so if you want to see how a new player tackles D and D, that's a, a great opportunity. Okay, so this is what we know about Percy. As for Sanity, we know that she's a kid and a queen and a high priestess. And this is everything, basically. Oh, high, high priestess of others. Oh, I see. See, that's important. 
Welcome to one of my court, I'm Himura Sene, Kitsune and Queen, High Priest of Azathoth, Azath and I've come to Rome for some fun and chaos. I love everything Lovecraft. Remember though, this is about Percy, so Senri is just going to be mentioned here. Same as Osric. I'm gonna put Osric here. Fox magic, we're gonna put, put here. I'm just being in the background always watching. Oh, I love that one. Mm. In the background, always watching. <laughs> We're not gonna say the word, but you know. I love stalkers. <laughs> I mean I was joking joking, but sure, oh no. No no no. You I don't know if you have that word in, in English, but in Hebrew we have a saying Nagata Nasata, which basically means you touch it, you you have to carry the burden. So we use that in chess, for example, or in other board games. If you touch the pawn, you have to move it. And you don't really do that, but when you play with, with picky or annoying players, they say Nagata Nasata, it's like, ah, uh -uh, you touch the piece, you have to play with that piece, or you touch that card, you have to take it. So you don't uh, think too much. So I, I play D&D like that sometimes, you know, if uh, one of the, I usually work with children and one of them can say some, some stupid stuff like, oh, I removed the guard's pants. And then I, I'm saying, oh, well, you removed the guard's pants. And he's like, no, no, it was a joke. Oh, no jokes here. <laughs> now, if you want to, I can remove that, but I kind of like it. It's cute. <laughs> A new schedule... Okay, Percy doesn't really have any more information here. So, I think this is it. This is what we got to work with. <laughs> so let's start... Not with Percy, let's start with Senere, actually. Percy is the... Let's, let's just use this line. No, you know what? No, wait, wait. Per Percy is the court ma mage of High Priestess Senri. As a kitsune. As a kitsune queen who rules the entire kitsune... kitsune valley? Or magical... I want like a word for kitsune... And maybe um, tanuki... And other, but not oni, not like something like this, like a new word for the entire valley of these shape-shifting trickster... You know what? Trickster valley, I love it. Trickster valley. Well, you said Kitsune, but then again, you go Lovecraft. Azathoth is Lovecraft. Lovecraft is English. It's it's American horror, American fantasy, basically. And Kitsune is Japanese fantasy. So I see a very unique combination here that you don't usually see. This is why we're gonna go with Trickster Valley. Well, the entire Trickster Valley. And again, anything that you want me to change, put in, uh, put out, and so on, just tell me, I'll do it. What's well, the entire Trickster Valley? Um. Senri is able to conjure servants from her fur, from her tail's magical fur. At the age of, now we gotta use some, gotta get the calculator out. Uh, where is the calculator? We're gonna do. 568 minus 95, we get 473. Uh, being bored with, with the current royal guard, she used blood magic to conjure... I don't want to use the word conjure twice, able to... to uh, 
Let's do it give birth, but in quotes. Give birth or give life. Give life. I don't want to, to hint that she's his mom, so no. He's able to give life to servants. Uh, let's use quotes. Give life. Or grant. Grant life to servants. To... Pieces of her from her magical tail. Which will form a newborn kitsune. At the age of 473, being born with the coin royal guard, Seri used blood magic. What's wrong, Ward? No, I like I is able to. Yeah, yeah, let's go with Ken. Seri used blood magic to conjure Percy. As he grew up in the um, in the trickster valley, surrounded by other kitsune, tanuki, and more shape shape shifting demons or demonic animals. Percy pushed himself further and further to learn sword fighting and every spell in the Royal Library. Digging the music, oh, thank you, death experience. I love this one, it's from, it's from Pixabay called Madirfan, Madirfan Hidden Palace. And for some reason, I can't stop listening to it. Who's the artist? I have even no idea. No artist name. It's somewhere on, on Pixabay. My dear fun. Let me write that in chat. My dear fun. Pixabay has some really, really good stuff when you dig in. Percy was listening to Madirfan music non-stop. What's a Madirfan? I have no idea what that is in a, even. Madirfan. Oh! Oh, Madirfan is the name of the, of the artist. He has a SoundCloud and a Pixabay. You know what? I'm going to listen to all of his music later. Because he has anything that sounds like this. Oh my god, he has so many! <gasps> he has three pages filled with music. Oh, oh I'm going to be addicted. Okay, yeah, yeah, my dear friend, check him out on Pixabay, Google, he has a SoundCloud and so on. Amazing. Um, the Sarah used blood magic to conjure Percy. As he grew in the Trickster Valley, surrounded by other Kitsune, Tanuki, and more shapeshifting and demonic animals, Percy pushed himself further um, to learn sword fighting and every spell in the Royal Library. Library. Until at the age of 21, he became the youngest keeper of the library, gaining the trust of the previous one. Okay. At the age of 46, Right? You, uh, Percy and Sandy, are you married? Are you just dating? Because I'm gonna... I'm gonna rule that you're married. At age of 46... After years of being infatuated with Queen Senri... No, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Wait, I have a better one. At the age of... We're dating in real life, but married in law. Oh, done. Done. Dating. How long have you been dating? You know, sometimes there's so much dating that you're practically married. 
when, if you've been dating uh, more than two years, that's married in my book. If you live together, that's married in my book. Hmm. Almost two years. Marriage. <laughs> oh, you know, you can get married um, with the cult of the flying spaghetti monster now. A few years. I think in New Zealand. So that's, um, I think, the closest thing to being a real-life priestess of, of a great horror creature like Azathoth. <laughs> By the way, do you know that all the Lovecraftian creatures have actually different pronunciation? So like, Cthulhu is actually a Cthulhu. Oh my god, I spit all over my microphone. <laughs> it's like a Cthulhu or something like that, would be really weird. There's um, some people on YouTube who teach you the actual pronunciation. So Azathoth is probably like a Azathoth. <laughs> also, where is was that cute, cute flu, cute, cute Tulu, cute Tulu, <laughs> cute and Cthulhu, cute Tulu. Anyway, the age of, of let's go with 19. Ah, oh, that's early. Uh, let's go with 20, 20. Mm, let's go with 26. I think that's good. 26. Cute Tulu, yes. Where did I see that? Cute Tulu. Was one of the games I played, I think. Cute Tulu. Yeah, if you look up, if you google C cute Thulu, you'll find all kind of uh, Cthulhu chibis. Very cute, adorable. There's also something that I really like to google, it's called uh, Reverse Medusa. If you google that, you'll find some really funny pictures. You know, Medusa turns people to stone, so Reverse Medusa uh, turns stone to people. <laughs> it's also, it's basically a snake with small people screaming from its head. <laughs> reverse Medusa. That's a good one. Sometimes I like to take monsters and just type reverse before it. You can find all kinds of treasures. So at the age of 26, after years of being in No, no. At the age of say, 26, uh, while delivering books to the queen... <laughs> just Google and love it. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> uh, how do you say... Uh, bon appetit. Percy <laughs> um, cut her during a night ceremony to Azathoth, sacrificing... What would, what would you sacrifice? Dr. Saka, say hello, welcome to the stream. Now what? I want to say sacrifice an old dying person or a, a baby goat or something, but I don't get horror from scenery, so... Sacrifice the vegetables. How goes the law writing? We just started. Goes pretty pretty well. Writing about a couple, mostly about Percy, but he's the... he's gonna get married to... to the queen of the Kitsune from the Trickster Valley, Senri. So we're... Um, it's in the middle of the first page, it's going really well. I'm gonna play some one-on-one D&D later in one and a half hours. I gotta say, writing lore is very cozy and and um, it's fun. It's really fun. On the other hand, writing nice. Thank you. Writing the oh fox, you you sacrifice a fox. <gasps> that bot Rapunzel raided with a party of twelve. Oh my god! Thank you. Welcome everyone. Welcome! Wait, I can shout out. I know how to do this. Shout out Dad Bod Rapunzel. Maybe Fox first. Oh, that's good. Check out Dad Rapunzel. He was playing The Binding of Isaac Repentance, one of my freaking favorite games of all times. I... I... Burning Name and Brazier. Well, you asked for it. <laughs> um, Where is it? Where is it? Sacrament Vegetables and Burning f um, Fox Furs in a brazier. So about Binding of Isaac, I have 2,000 hours on the Binding of Isaac. I have more than 1 million percent of it. It's one of my... I'm, I'm heavily addicted. Hello, the writer die. Yes, I'm writing today. I need a big pen in my head. In my in my hand. <laughs> oh, in my head as well. Oh no, I had the thought. I could get a... <laughs> I could get a PNG of a pen with some uh, cracks around it and put it on my head <laughs> like a pen was... <laughs> <laughs> was put inside my first. <laughs> I gotta make one later. <laughs> a ton of Isaac, I'm a little of 1k between PS4 and PS. Oh, you play on, on, on both of them. That's on the same save file? I I don't think they have cross save, right? Mm. 
I wish there was online support for the Binding of Isaac. I mean, there is the um, far away control. How do you call it? Just PC for now, yeah. PC is the best. I played the original Isaac 2011 on uh, keyboard and mouse. Then when the 2014 Binding of Isaac Rebirth came out, it didn't support mouse at first. And I had to relearn everything using the, the keyboard. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I have to roll the dice here. Um, che Cheshi Reset. Cheshi Reset. Thank you, Joy, for, for the party. Let me roll your luck for you. You have a luck of 13, a demonic, uh, cruel number. And Nozomi will win. No, 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 no. Nozomi, welcome to the party. Let me roll the die for you. Your luck is two, the number of couples. Maybe it's time to find love. Hmm. Hmm. And also, that was Rapunzel. Uh, let me roll the die three times for you for the raid. You get a 17, you get a 20, and you get a 1. So we're gonna go with a 20. You have the best number, natural 20 and a natural 1. It's like it's completely chaotic. You, you control the world, you control the results of the die. Ah, so what are we doing today? Oh, wait, let me introduce myself. I am a Mimikun. I'm a D20 VTuber. I roll the die and control the, the world, the luck. And I do D&D. In about one and a half hours, I'm gonna do one-on-one D&D &D with uh, a real-life nurse who have never played D&D &D before. And we, on my Discord server, there's many, many D&D games that we're gonna host for ple many people who never played D&D. So this coming week, we're gonna have five or six D&D &D games. It's crazy. I should hope I found love. It will be my 10-year anniversary next year. <gasps> Congratulations. Do, do it. Uh, find, uh, re-spark the love using d, &D. <laughs> Hydrate, done. Um, nom nom, thank you for the hydrate. So, uh, right now, we are, I'm also writing lores and short story. Oh, I didn't forget, I, I didn't change the title. Uh, Percy... Wait, I didn't get Percy's full name, I forgot it. Twitter, Percy, Percival, Percival something. Come on, Twitter. I was just in Percy's... Percy Jackson News? No. <laughs> I was just in Percy's Twitter. So I'm writing lores about other VTubers. Right now I'm writing the lore for Percy. And it's mostly made up. Percival Drake! Oh, thank you. You know, this is why I like having the, the person in chat. Because I'm stupid and I have bad memory. Percival Drake! Uh, Royal... Let's go with Royal Kitsune, because I think that the, the, the word Kitsune holds a lot in it. it sounds interesting, oh, thank you, it, uh, it's, a, it's a giveaway that I did, of two pages lore. I did one for Ember Schwarzer, a fiery priestess, and later, next week, I think I'm gonna do about, about Neil, who is actually a painting, or a blob of ink VTuber. So Percy is 95, he's of, of, of course the Kitsune, and Sanity is uh, 568, he's a queen, of the kitsune. That experience way welcome to the bar experience. Let me roll your luck. It is 15! A good number for uh, balance. I need to get something for a posture check. Thank you for the reminder. Now I know how all the, the people hydrate. Ooh. I hope coffee counts, right? Or do I have to drink water? <laughs> I'll drink water as well. Now I know all the other streamers feel when I go to a channel immediately. Poster check, hydrate, poster check, hydrate. <laughs> um, so, so Percy was created from a uh, magical fur, from Senri's tail, because she was born with the coin guard. Um, and she did some blood magic, right? Yeah, yeah, blood magic. So he's special. So we're gonna add to, to here some... Um, this is gonna be purple fire. And we're gonna also add some bloody magic, because it was conjured from black magic. Also, I want some some uh, mental connection with Senri, which we'll talk about later. I'm gonna get all kinds of powers that I want uh, Percy to have. Also, of course, uh, something like fast reading, or um, book locating, maybe some kind of uh, computer brain slash memory. And I want... Um, oh, what was that? I had something I forgot. Oh, sword. Sword fighting. Should go and talk about later. Feels like I'm writing a, a Marvel superhero hero character shit. So, 
At the age of 21, becomes the youngest uh, keeper of the library. At age of 26, while delivering books to the queen, Percy caught her during a night ceremony to um, to the horror terror god Azathoth. Just let me Google Azathoth because there is some I'm not familiar 100% with all the Lovecraftian. I did listen to most of the original stories, but I don't remember anything. Outside the ordered universe, that amorphous blight of nethermost confusion, which blasphemous and bubbles at the center of all infinity, the boundless daemon Sultan Azathoth, whose name no lips dare speak aloud, and who gnaws hungrily in inconceivable unlighted chambers beyond time and space, amidst the muffled, maddening beating of vile drums and the thin, monotonous wine of accursed flutes. H.P. Lovecraft, the dream quest of unknown Kadath. So, first thing you know that Azathoth is, uh, is original. The blind idiot god. Nuclear Chaos, the Demon Sultan, the Deep Dark, the Cold One. Oh, I love I love Lovecraft so much. Such a unique genre. Even though reading that, I don't feel feel like we we need anything from here. I would go deep into the Azathoth lore to learn what exactly is the best thing to sacrifice, but let's go with uh, vegetables and burning fur, fox fur, burning furs in a brazier. Watching the ceremony Percy was immediately infatuated mm. After 20 years of chasing her, I mean anything goes with madness of so veggies and fox fur sounds pretty <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> imagine you uh, taking some veggies like a cucumber covering it with fur Giving it a bite and throwing it to the fire <laughs> God of vegans. After 20 years of chasing her almost daily, finally, um... What, how did Percy conquer Senri's heart? Tell me, Senri Percy, is there a real-life story? Menace is 10 out of 10, versatile story condiment. Exactly. <laughs> you can do anything with it. Vegetables and fur. Um... Percy and Senri, how did you meet? How did you decide to start dating? Let's hear it, Percy. Sounds like your task. Do it, Percy. Do it. Story, story, story. Knock, knock. Who's there? Who's there? Tell me, Error. I gotta know. Oh, my Error is torturing me with his jokes. Knock, knock. No, who's there? Who's there? <laughs> I'm supposed to say who's there, not knock, knock. Tell me the snail. Please tell me the snail. I'll just move on until Percy writes everything down. Um, so we know this. The snail wants to know if they got a lore already. Mm, you know, I'm gonna write the lore right now. Um, the snail named Doug was crushed to death by a by an eleven feet four goat. The end. You can copy that. That's how you write. Oh, Doug. What was what, what's wrong with crushed? Oh, that's crushed. Okay. Here it is. That's your lore arrow. You can put it in your Twitter bio. <laughs> share it. If you post it, I will share it. If you tag Minako as well. Oh wait, that's Michan, not Doug. Yes, I'm sorry, it's Doug. You know his name is Doug. Because. Because. He has a shovel on his head. <laughs> that's from the... What do you call a man with a shovel on his head? Doug. That's, that's a joke. And, and um, it's a snail, so he died with the, with the shovel on his head. Let's get back to Percy, okay? <laughs> Percy still didn't write, so I'm gonna make some stuff up. 20 years chasing her almost. Finally, uh, Percy decided to go all out. What did Percy do? How did Percy meet? You know what? I'm gonna keep this for later. Uh, they got married and since then lived together in the palace. I feel like something is missing here. We'll come back to it later. 
Welcome onto my court, I'm Himona Senri, Kitsune Queen, I appreciate that I've come to your realm for some fun and chaos. Please call me Senri, from all these can be a bit too much. Okay. I think that's enough. Well, in real life we met through D&D &D, and we're friends for a while, got to know each other and then it just kinda happened and in a way the lore answer is similar. You know what? I like it. To go all out and invited everyone to a... to a costume... costume... wait, I did write costume, that's like cosplay. Costume... party. Although in reality he gave everyone a certain date and gave Senri... Oh, Masquerade Ball, yes. Oh, that's so much better. Masquerade Ball, yeah. I'm gonna take that. Uh, invite everyone to a Masquerade Ball. Although in reality... Although he gave everyone a certain date and gave Senri a different date they were the only ones in the ball and she fell for him on the spot oh how sweet they got married and lived since okay this is good this is enough about Sari now we're gonna move to Percy uh wait I gotta write one more thing about Osric Osric the Bard Osric Taylor, a bard and a close friend of Percy, who sometimes visits the um, the valley in his quests for new stories. One time, after some uh, uh, after a failed chaotic spell. Done by Senri. Uh, Osric and Percy were combined into one creature with two heads, although they don't talk about that incident anymore. <laughs> Okay, that's good. Let's. Uh, what, what is Percy doing today? Today, Percy is keeping the library. is is juggling between keeping the library, mm, acquiring acquiring new books, teaching sword fighting to new. Uh, a new guards and leading a tactical not tactical strategical decisions against the Tanuki tribes against the rebel Tanuki tribes so we're not gonna talk about them too much but you know, in the story, there's, uh, there's like the Kitsune. There's also the Tanuki, and they don't always agree with one another. While also trying to um, sit with Senri at least twice a week and read her stories. while they fall asleep together. Okay, sweet, cute, enough. Now, um, locations, hobbies, a location. I mean, we talked about the valley. We can expand a bit about it. Trickster Valley. A place of uh, demonic shape shifting animals. Mostly Kitsune and Tanuki. Surrounded by thick trees. 
thick magical trees that lead uh, adventures that 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 make adventures go get lost that protect the sacred valley sacred the sacred kingdom town palace town town folk from stray adventurers. Let's go with that. At the center, there's the royal palace or castle. I'll go with a palace made of wood and a bit chaotic in nature the stairs stairs can lead to random places and sometimes spit you out oh that's cute now i feel like we didn't talk about percy enough so let's dig in um in his spare time percy loves to what does percy like to do in his spare time Hmm. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go back to that. Let's go with, with, um, with this. So we have fox magic. Like most kitsune, Percy is able to shape, shift into different, into any form. Let's give it a, a limitation. As long as he doesn't move too fast. Hmm. <laughs> let's, let's go some uh, some stats, some video game stats. Uh, when hit by a sudden attack, there's 20% chance of turning into a leaf and this appearing. I think it's a, a bit more kids, more um, more tanuki than a kids. I'm not sure. Then again, Tanuki and Kitsune are very similar, I'd say, in many things. Uh, maybe, I think, I think Tanuki has more free shape shifting. Kitsune is more like a, over the years growing to a human form. Let's go Kitsune and Tanuki and learn exactly. Japanese raccoon dog, no, I'm talking about the magical Tanuki. Myth and folklore is a kitsune. A tanuki is a real animal, yeah, yeah, I'm talking about the one, the myth one. Abilities, raccoon dogs are master of illusions, shape-shifted to any form they choose. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. Now the kitsune, on the other hand, live together, companions of humans, supernatural significance, many nine, older, wiser. So they grow more tails the, the older they get. How many tails does Percy has? That's an interesting question. Pretty sure Senri has nine. Of course, there's the fox fire, which is a really important part of the kitsune. Where's Percy? Percy! I see one tail. One tail, I see, I see one tail. Hmm. <laughs> So it's very young. Which animals? Your correct sign here is nine. I mean, she is a queen. Five hundred and something years old. That's a given. There is an interesting question. Why Percy has only one tail? Hmm. Tails. While Queen Senri has her full nine-tailed magic Percy is only one I gotta head off fam have a great stream thank you stream thank you so much dad for joining in have a great day eat some good stuff drink some water ah and destroy the binding of Isaac have you ever imagined leaving the binding of Isaac like in real life right into your basement and putting pins and stuff in your eyes to shoot tears at enemies. 
I remember those old tweet thingies or in Facebook where they, they say, uh, the last game that you've played, you're stuck in this ro ro world now. How, how um, freaked are you? <laughs> I'm like, oh no, I just played, <laughs> I just played like 24 hours of Binding of Isaac. <laughs> I'm kind of dead. <laughs> Uh, current centers are full nine-tailed magic. Percy is only one tail. Although trying many different methods, he cannot seem to grow the second one. And today, this is kind of uh, breaching into the goals part. And today is... Yes, there's a reason for him only having one tail, but that ties into a certain part of the lore that I'm keeping a secret for now. But I've hinted at a little bit on Twitter. Oh, I see. Um, cannot seem to grow the second tail. Um, although he knows the reason, although he he fears the reason, he's currently not telling anyone. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Go with that. So powers. Fox magic. Like most kitsune. Percy can shape shift. Uh, no, Percy can create illusions and change into any form. Um, as long as he doesn't move at all. Let's so make it not as strong as the Tanuki. The Tanuki can shapeshift freely. When hit by a sudden attack, 20% chance of turning into a leaf and disappearing. <laughs> Let's go with that. Uh, purple fire. Percy is able to conjure... I love the word conjure today. Conjure purple flames... to attack enemies. I think this is... Um, or deliver messages. Let's go with that. His control over the fire is limited um, to the number of tails. So that's one. Bloody magic. As a kitsune conjured using uh, blood. Wait, I'll go back with the blood one. Um, blood, where is it? Here. Senri used blood magic, um, chaotic. Chaotic blood magic to conjure Percy. So we're gonna make some other stuff here. As a kitsune conjured from using chaotic blood magic, Percy is able to. Percy's blood can be used as weapon when getting hurt. The blood can um, take the form, the blood can solidify. Solidify into the form of sharp sword like. Objects. This is also why Percy is training in sword fighting. That Percy can use to attack, to slash, or throw. Mental connection with Senri. Let's call it um, Percy as a mental connection to Senri, and they can communicate through. Thinking in any range. Okay, let's fix this. Mental connection with Senri. How do you call that? Um, telepathy? Chaos telepathy? Telepathic bond. Let's go with that. Oh, no, no, no. No bad word. Okay. Tele. Pathic bond. You know what? I'll call it. I'll call it Queen Bond or Fox Bond, Kitsune Bond. Um, oh, 
Wedding bond, range bond, uh, fur bond. Let's go with telepathic bond for now. Fast reading. Well, um, librarian genius. As he, uh, um, as an avid book reader, isn't the word right? Avid? Avid? Sometimes when I write in English, just words just randomly pop up. Oh, yeah. Lahut. No, that's in Hebrew. Avid. Avid. Yeah, that's good. Lahut. Yeah, Avid is correct. Yeah. There's an avid book reader. Percy has developed the ability to read. Let's go with something really crazy here. Um, fastest reader in the world. Let's see. Reads over 25,000 words per minute. That's bullshit. <laughs> the world's faster reader record belonged to Howard Steven Berg, popularly referred to as the Speedy Berg. He reads over 2,500, no, 25,000 words per minute in 1990 and set the record of 80 pages per minute. How? This is... There's a YouTube video here, I'm gonna watch this later, but this sounds like bullshit. Then again, Percy is magical, so we can go crazy. Um... I wanna utilize these. Is possible to run his power? Uh, well, I'm sure that either he's a liar who read the books earlier, it is the 90s after all, or... or... it has to, to do with... With perfect memory. Percy has developed the ability to read as fast as. Let's go with 100,000 words per minute and complete whole books. Complete uh, at least 10 books a day. Peppermint, hello, thank you for subscribing. Oh my god, you make me so happy, Peppermint. I'm going to roll the die five times for you and you're gonna get the top result. Are you ready? Are you ready? We got a, we got a 17. We got an 18. We got an eight. Perfect number for, for magic. We got a two and we got a 17 again. So two 17s, that's 34. The perfect number here is 18, so you get 18. That's 10 plus eight, the, the magic number. It's, it's an amazing number, a number of adult. You're uh, stepping into adulthood uh, in, in your magical powers. And um, also I really like the name Peppermint for some reason. Did I tell you that, that Mint is, I think I told you that, I don't know why. <laughs> uh, one of my favorite games is Tales of Fantasia and there's uh, the, the, the priest that you meet at the beginning of the game is called Mint. Some of the old Japanese games uh, are like that. So thank you for visiting. Oh, and enjoy the uh, subscriber badge forever. <laughs> I wish you could, uh, you, you will show, I wish that you can show this badge for many, 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 many years to come, because I'm not going anywhere. I gotta say, I, I wanna say something. Um, let's, let's, let's do a, a small, also, if you see ads, tell me, right in chat, so I can stop. I know there are ads now. Oh, sure, I have special badge now. Yes! You got the... Also, thank you for speaking. Now I can shrink this so people will see the chat. Okay, so... Um, a small break for a serious talk. I don't know why. I just want to say... Th th first of all, it's my first... Fear. I don't know how to speak. It's my first week as an affiliate. I just reached 700 followers on Twitter. And uh, how much? 182 followers on, on Twitch. This is crazy. And um, finally, I feel like this could potentially one day become my full-time job. And I really want it to be. Now, there's this VTuber prom that's going on. And people are um, talking about who we're going, going to invite and so on. But the VTuber prom is in three and a half months from now. Now, I started collabing with people and growing three weeks ago. 
I became a VTuber. I streamed for the first time in 7th of June. That's like three months ago. And so many things have, hap have, have happened. This is crazy. The VTuber community is growing immensely fast. What I want to say is that every day I see VTubers who unfortunately retire or take breaks because it's not, it's not always easy. It's not always easy. Um, but, but I want to say this. Uh, it's a promise between us. I am not going anywhere. I and if I ever go uh, anywhere, I need some really serious excuses um, because I really love this. I feel like I found my place, and I feel like if I leave, it's actually betraying my uh, my audience. I can't do that. So thank you for being here and supporting. And it's just it's really unbelievable. It's so unbelievable that I feel like I can't really I can't understand it fully right now. It will take me maybe a few weeks to understand what's going on. I'm, it's been my dream to write. I've been, uh, I published eight books and this is the opportunity of, look at this, look at this. Look, look what's going on here. I sit and write lore for another VTuber and there are people watching me. This is, it's really unbelievable. This is a dream I've had so many years and later I'm gonna do D&D &D and people watch that. This is crazy, really crazy. So thank you everyone. And um, the promise is that I'm not going anywhere. I'm not taking a break. I'm not, I'm going full, full on, um, and another thing, you know, if we're talking about this, some people, mostly Minako and Izu and Ero, really like to ask me if I'm going to forget them <laughs> when I become famous one day. <laughs> I'm not going to forget anyone. I have a stupidly, stupidly stupid memory. I remember, I have a really bad short-term memory, but a really, really good long-term memory. The opposite of, of Percy here. So... Everyone here, Percy, Sandy, Peppermint, I'm going to remember you forever. You're doing great and I have high hopes for you. Oh, thank you. Ooh. It's it's very overwhelming and confusing and I constantly I constantly feel like one mistake can destroy it all. Um, so I'm I'm too cautious sometimes. But I am going full on ahead. There's gonna be like five DD this week. And I can't, I'm kind of terrified, because what if they fail? What if, well, I don't know, what if I got a player that's going to destroy my stream by saying, I don't know. But it's gonna be okay. I'm sure it's gonna be okay. Understandable, it's a lot of pressure. Um, yes, um, I don't know if pressure is exactly, it's more like, um, I don't know, maybe it is pressure, maybe it is pressure. Because... I don't know, I don't know. I, I think it's pressure and and imposter syndrome combined. It's I'd say that imposter syndrome is a, a big part in it. Imposter syndrome. Because sometimes I ask myself, am I that entertain entertaining? Just people watch me write. Is that really entertaining? A lot of YouTubers just get burnt out. It's a natural anyone in the, in any job. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've been a dungeon master for 10 years. Professional. I work with children. I get burned out every month. <laughs> My boss um, has a story that one day he broke his hand on the way to, jo to, to, to work in Dungeons and, Ma and Dragons. And he thought, I can go to the hospital, but there are children waiting for me. Children that for them, I'm, I'm like a dad. I'm like a, a father figure. There's no other din da dungeon master going to replace me. So hospital later. And he went to job with a broken arm and he did like three D&D groups of children, four and a half hours, then went to the hospital. And that story, well, it, it's a bit exaggerated. I mean, you, if you break your arm, you can just call the, the center and say, hey, I broke my arm, uh, get someone else. But if he could do it, then uh, a burnout, a small burnout will not stop me. You know the feeling when you run, if you, if you ever run like four kilometers, then you run, and then there's a moment while running, while you completely burn out and you just want to stop. But if you, if you go beyond that threshold, it, go, it becomes automatic and you could just run indefinitely. Something like that, like, like Forrest Gump, if you watched it, there's a moment where there's a spark and just run. Let's go back to Percy, <laughs> I'm blabbing, I can't stop here. I've, if I start talking about philosophical stuff, it's not gonna end. Okay, so he's a librarian genius, an avid book reader. Percy developed the ability to read as fast as 100,000 words per minute and completes, you know, uh, let's go 50,000. I think 100,000 is a bit. Then again, he is a VTuber. 
Let's go 50 and the more tails obviously you read faster. Uh, per minute and complete uh, uh, and complete at least 10 books a day. Fast reading. Um, as well as a perfect memory able to remember everything he read and know the location of every book in the valley yeah let's go with that i'll go with uh, capital valley remember okay sword fighting uh, Percy has trained in sword fighting with the Royal Guard since childhood, but still has a lot to learn. It's not as perfect with that any, uh, or anything. Um, when using blood, when using chaotic, chaotic, chaotic blood swords. They sometimes home on the target, uh, helping Percy improve. I've actually been in the process of writing a book, so this is very inspiring to watch. Oh my god. Uh, listen, I don't want to, to push other streams I've done um, on you, but listen. In, on Saturday... I did with, where is the Osric Teller, this guy, the bard. I've sat with Osric, he won a giveaway of a short story, a short story raffle. And we wanted to write a short story about him. It's, an, it's a four hour stream, it's on Twitch, uh, in archive, and it's also on my YouTube. And it's an amazing tool for writers, I learned so much from it. We did only the skeleton of the short story, next week we're going to write this story itself, but we have a perfect, perfectly perfect short story that came out completely different than what we thought and I love it, I love everything about it. There's Chekhov's guns in it, there's uh, inciting incident, there's uh, climax, everything is perfect and also I, I really love writing. I'm an author, I published eight books and I, I love teaching writing. I sometimes do seminar, writing seminars to children and I plan to do a writing seminar on stream. Maybe maybe to you, maybe you'll, you'll be in it. So in my writing seminar what I want to do is get like four VTubers uh, who are interested in writing and I'm gonna teach them how to write then we're gonna take a break and they're going to write a short story then of like one page then I'm going to read the short stories and it's gonna be really really fun it's gonna be so much fun so a uh, writing seminar it's gonna happen one day and as I know myself maybe next week <laughs> I really wanna do it but yeah the, the four hours of of short story writing because this is generally writing um, ideas you know, you're writing lores, but in those four hours, we actually built an entire skeleton for a short story that I really love. And we did some brainstorming in very unique ways. I've written stories as short as flesh fiction, and some as long as five pages. It's very fun. Yeah, 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 it's so much fun. It's so much fun. Unfortunately, I'm one of those that every time I write, it becomes longer and longer. So, well, my first book was uh, 20,000 words-ish. My last book was around 170,000 words. I really tried to, to make it smaller, but the more you write, the heavier it becomes. I do really need to go and watch the complete stream of you with Osric. I really need to polish my writing. Sound like it could be good, especially with it being two awesome people in you and Osric. Yes, and um, since you know Osric, uh, I feel like you... Sometimes during the stream, because Osric was there, the entire, we, we spoke together, he was on uh, on voice chat, and it was a uh, double, it was, we wrote together. 100,000 plus, you really went, um, yeah, it took me... <laughs> I planned to write like a month, and it was around two or three years, but it came out so good. I wish you could read it. One day, it's in Hebrew, one day I'll... Wait, I'll, go, I'll, I'll show you the cover. I'm so proud of that book. But, um, I don't know how many, like, maybe like one person read it. Uh, I've tried to read it on Google Translate. Not that bad. One day I'll translate it properly. Where is it? I'll find it. So what I want to say to Percy. Uh, sometimes I... Wait. What's with my internet? Oh, okay, it's fine. <laughs> uh, what I want to tell to, to Percy is that sometimes during the 
During the writing process with Osric, I asked myself, is Osric having fun being here, watching me write, uh, talking about, uh, talking with me, but it's about his culture. And I imagine the, the, the other way around, someone else writing about my culture. And I would have a lot of fun. So since you know Percy, I think you will enjoy it more than someone who doesn't know Percy, but who knows. Oh wait, there's a green cor chroma key, no! <laughs> there's a green chroma key. Anyway, this is the... it's in Hebrew, but this is the... it's a... it's a cabbage. That's the cover. Oh, it looks horrible with the chroma key. Anyway... It's about, um... It's a stupid book, but I really like it. It's, it's very inspired by harem anime and so on. You know what? One day... One day... Remember that. One day... Looks so interesting if you ignore the chroma key, yes. <laughs> one day... I am going to win against a VTuber in some game and I'm going to punish them to read the first three chapters of this book on stream on, on, from Google Translate. <laughs> That's going to happen. It's going to happen. Mark, mark my words. <laughs> anyway, let's go back to Percy. Because um, I think we're almost done. I think we're almost done. Goals. So we kind of talk about talk about the goals. We talked about the goals in the tales part, but I want to talk about personal. So goals: um, read more books, write a book about Senri. Let's go with something very unique. Um, something unique. We know about the masquerade. That's how they made, right? They made a, a masquerade. So maybe, maybe, um, make costumes and own a, a, a costume shop, maybe. Let's go with that. Oh, these, these are more, more of dreams. Mm, I think we, we kind of covered the goals in everything we wrote so far. So let's stay with this for now. Okay, let's go to the last parts. And then we're gonna go through everything and see if we missed anything. And Percy Senry, if you have anything you want me to add or or change, please say. It's gonna be your... Your lore. Ding, doo -doo -doo -doo. Percy, why did I close it down? Should leave it open. I have a tendency to close down things when I'm... When I think I'm done with them. Okay, so I'd say it's either purple, orange or red. With the color. Let's go with... Let's go with purple. We got a purple... Purple vi vibes. Animal. Um, do we go with fox? Or something a bit more unique? Percy, I'd say... Sea green. Okay. I agree. Also kind of the color of the eyes. Sea green. Okay. Now, do you have any animal or Pokemon that you think suits Percy? Or the number? Exactly. A number I'd go with something like 8. I went with 8 for Ember as well. But there's something about 8 is related to magic and fire. Or maybe 2, also the number of couples, which is, goes well with, with Senri. Well, for Pokemon, gotta say Delphox. Oh, that's, that's a good... That's a good one. And for an animal... Foxes. Let's see what kind of foxes do we have. Hmm... It's not really a fennec fox. Arctic fox. Ethiopian wolf. Crab-eating fox. Do they live next to crabs? What's crab-eating fox? Forest fox, wood fox, bush dog. But it doesn't seem like it lives next to crabs. 
It's called a crab eating fox, but it lives nowhere next to crab. Search it for crabs on muddy floodplains. Oh, I see. Bat eared fox. That's cute. And of course, we have the fennec, which is adorable. I don't get fennec vibes though from from Percy. But the island fox is perfect, so we're gonna go with island fox. Yeah. Island Fox. And for the number... Hmm... Let's see what the dice said. The dice says... 12, 18, I want one number. 6? Hmm... I don't know, then there's the, the number 1. Symbolizing one tail. Senri is obviously gonna be 9. Percy, I get the number 2 here. We're gonna go with 2. Now, tarot card is my, <clears throat> my specialty, because I used to be a professional tarot reader. I have this story that one time I went to an anime convention, and I... I pulled up a stall and I did tarot reading for a whole day, and I got like $350 reading, reading uh, tarot for random people in the convention. Browse cards, let's see, what card does fits Percy the most? So the Magician is a really, really good card here. Related to fire, to creativity, ingenu ingenuity. We also have Justice with a sword and a crown, but I don't get the... Justice is too... too much uh, taking power to himself. I feel like Percy is more of a supportive type. There's the Lovers, a good card here as well. Symbolizing Percy and... and Senri. Hmm... We also have the Chariot, which could work. Rushing forward... no, 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 no. Wheel of Fortune? Maybe? Thank you, Percy, for redeeming a hat! It is time... to add one more. But which hat? Which hat should we add? Oh, there's so many choices. We have a specific hat in mind. You know what? I'm gonna put on... Um... I'm gonna put on this purple... Magician hat. Reminds me of you. Where do I put it? On the other hat? <laughs> I can't believe it works. I thought it wouldn't work. Or do I put it here, on the other side? Like so. I think I'm gonna put it on, on the hat. Stacked hat, yeah, this is why the... This is why it's here. No, no, what I... No, I destroyed it. Like so. A bit more. And yeah, this is good. Uh, VTube Studio. The, the item update and the colors update. I love it so much. <laughs> Seriously, VTubers have amazing tools today to do whatever they want. <laughs> I'm gonna love this. <laughs> Thank you for rolling the, the stacked hat. Uh, I have a feeling that in the future I'm going to end stream with like a tall tower of hats on my head. <laughs> if VTube Studio can handle it. Oh wait, we're, we were at the tower cards. Mm. Temperance could also work, temperance. Tempest could work. Let's see. Combining, creating, compromise, the leaning towards <laughs> tower, the leaning tower of hats. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Pizza hats. Man shark, welcome to the party. Thank you for following. Let me roll the die for you. Your luck for today is gonna be two. Again, the number of couples. It is time for you to find love if you don't have one yet. Hello, hello. Oh, it is so fun to to meet. Uh, people from the server, potential Dungeon Dragons uh, um, players. You see how many games we're gonna have next week? It's unbelievable. I had no idea there's actual demand to D&D. Um, we're just finishing the lore writing about Percy and in 45 minutes I'm gonna have Catbug Soup here. 
You know, maybe even earlier, we'll see. And we're gonna play one-on-one D&D with her. She has no idea what's going to happen, she never played D&D. Honestly, I don't really have any idea what, what's going to happen, I just wanted to, to warm up before the D&D. Tuesday, by the way, I'm gonna play D&D with the first group of VTubers, VTuber friends. And Catbug is gonna be there. And we have, we're gonna have Miko, the fruit bot, and Koneko Izu, the cat, fruit cat. Uh, and we're gonna have Ero in a nutshell. And Deja Wukong, the monkey supporter. You know what, the sun could also work for Percy. No, I feel, feel like the sun is too much. Then again, the sun has this long scarf that's kind of like... Why am I not showing you the cards? Tarot cards. I mean, tarot cards are like public thingy. Where are they? Give me a list of the of the cards. Oh, Wikipedia doesn't have, doesn't have the list of the cards. Ding. Learn tarot card meaning. Oh, that's good. That's really good. I accept. Let's go with this one. Let's go with uh, window capture. Give me Chrome. Chrome. Hello, Chrome. Yay, tar cards! Okay, so... For Percy, we have a few really good options here. The Magician is a good option. Also, the Lovers could be. Um, Wheel of Fortune works for me. Temperance works. Speaking of tar cards, I did get the D&D tower deck. Some really good, cool things. Oh my god. If you can, please send me pictures. I want to see it. Um, in return. I'll send you pictures of my- I have like five or six tower decks. I have the Binding of Isaac tower deck, which I really love. Also, I want to do tower readings on stream. If you're interested, tell me. I'll do a... Maybe I'll do it later. Today. I, I don't know. Maybe I'll do tower reading for Catbug. <laughs> we'll see. I want to do so many things. Uh, the, the sun... Judgment is a bit too much. When, when Percy gets to nine tails, I feel like it will, be, it will be judgment. Right now, I feel like these these are the ones. Okay, so magician, very related to to fire, to ingenuity, to imagination, to 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 inspiration. They say very quick, very strong. I get from the library and all that. I get the magician. Then again, we have the lovers, which I think I think I feel like the lovers would suit more if we take. Percy and Senri is one, but we're speaking more about Percy right now, so I'm gonna scrap the lovers. The Wheel of Fortune is a very unique card here. Um, talking about inner change, it's very interesting for a librarian, a magic user, someone who's trying to grow um, the second tail, blood magic chaos. So that could work very, very nicely. I'm gonna remove Temperance and the Sun. I feel like the sun is for someone in the in the level of a king or a queen. And Percy right now is only 95, he's, uh, one tail, still growing. So, Magician or Wheel of Fortune? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, magician. Personal power, intention, will, resource, resourcefulness. That's very Percy. And the Wheel of Fortune is taking action, change, movement, destiny, luck, expansion. As for the numbers, the Magician is number 1, the Wheel of Fortune is number 10. Percy, do you have any preferences? As for the Wheel of Fortune or the Magician? In a way... Senri goes to the Magician. Yeah, I, I kind of tend to go to the Magician. Let's go with the Magician. By the way, that's the Island Fox. Look at that, so cutie. Magician as well. Well, if both of you agree, then we're gonna go with that. Window capture, ring ward again. So we're gonna go with the magician. Oh no, zodiac sign. Percy, what's your zodiac sign? I feel like Zodiac Sign has to be an Earth element. Taros, Capricorn, Virgo? I feel like Capricorn. A hard worker, you know. Capricorn, 10th astrological sign. 
We come to in real life and Capricorn but in the Lord Gemini. Wait, you're Capricorn in real life? How, <laughs> how do they get that vibe from you? Some st some stuff. <laughs> I used to learn a lot of uh, mysticism, dark cards, Reiki, transcendence with angels, past life recreation, all of that. And like three years of heavy mysticism. So I was a lot of into zodiacs and lucid dreams. Let's go with, with um, Gemini slash Capricorn. Let's go with those two. And I'll let you decide which one is which. Now it's for more dreams. Read more books, write more... Um... But this is good enough, I think. Well, my cat is here. Meshi is here. Forgot to close the door. Ah, run away. Ah, here, sit on me. Ah, oh, so much fur. Ah, wanna say hi to Percy and Senri? No. <laughs> Kato, yes. She's adorable. Have you seen a picture of her? Wanna see? Eh, wait, she wants the door open. Or not. One of those cats that doesn't know what she wants. Nee. I'd love to see you. Well, I have uh, an entire gallery here. Let me show you one. Nee. Oh yeah, she wants the door open, wait. I'm gonna show you this picture and I'm gonna show you... here's one This is Meshi found, I found her in a construction site Then I bought her some sausages and then I thought, you know, maybe I can just bring her home Oh wait, there's a chroma key again Wait, <laughs> I'll find a better picture can't post grass. This one is good. And I thought at first, I'm just going to, to bring her home, you know? To, to be in the garden. She's just gonna be here. In the house. Whenever I want to, to pet a cat, she'll just be around. But then I thought, you know what, let's just take her home. And let's just... Let's just take her to the vet. And give her all the, the things that the cat need. And now we sleep in the same bed, which can be very hot sometimes. This morning I came, I, I, I woke up all sweaty because she was sleeping on me. So adorable. Oh, I'm gonna show you one more picture. I feel like one of these pet owners who is so showing his, his pet to everyone. Look, she's so cute. It's my daughter. <laughs> Anyway, enough about Meshi. The blip, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go back to this. Now, is there anything you want me to add? I feel like we need one more thing here. Talk about dreams and goals, extra adorable and happy she found a great home with you all. Thank you. Sometimes she can wake me up at like 4 a.m. She wants to play. But you get used to it. And now that I stream, like, always, <laughs> it's even better. Um, so, Percy, let's expand this a bit. Percy, although busy with his multiple jobs, Percy... wants to read more books um, from other countries and travel the world 
with Senri. Uh, write a book about Senri. Well, not write a book. Not necessarily need to know about one. Just write a book. Um, and even make costumes and own a custom shop. Some of these dreams contradict. So most of the time, Percy just... Uh, just... Overwhelms himself with work. One day he wants to grow nine tails, reach his full potential, and be a worthy king for Senri. I think this is good enough. So let's see what we have here. Percival. Wait, uh, Percival Drake. 95. Is the court mage of High Priestess Senri. As the kids and a queen rules the entire Trickster Valley, Senri can grant life to pieces of her hair. Pieces of fur. Let's go with her. For a magical tale. Magical tales. Magical nine tails, which will form a newborn kitsune. At the age of 473, being born with the current royal guard, Senri used the chaotic blood magic to conjure Percy. As he grew in the Trickster Valley, surrounded by other kitsune, tanuki, and more shape-shifting demonic animals, Percy pushed himself further to learn sword fighting and, uh, and uh, to, 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 to become better at sword fighting and every and, and learn every spell in the Royal Library until at the age of 21 he became the youngest keeper of the library, gaining the trust of the previous one and the rest of the kingdom of the of the valley and, uh, the kingdom castle? let's go with castle you say castle or palace? oh wait, palace, palace castle yeah, let's go with palace then Oh, maybe we need a name for the palace, like the the chaotic palace. Kids in the palace. Chaotic palace. At the age of 26, while delivering books, let's let's give it a capital. Chaotic palace. At the what did I do? No. At the age of 26, while delivering books to the queen, Percy cut her during a night ceremony to the horror terror god Azathoth, sacrificing vegetables and burning furs in a brazier. Watching the ceremony, Percy was immediately infatuated. Let's let's watching the mm, beautiful crimson ceremony, beautiful and horrific ceremony. Percy was immediately infatuated. After 20 years of chasing her almost daily, finally Percy decided to go all out. Invited everyone to a masquerade ball, although he gave to a masquerade ball. And although he gave everyone a certain date, he gave Senri a different date. They were the only ones in the ball. Let's go, the only ones there. And she fell for him on the spot. They got married, and since they live, since then, live together in the palace. Knock, knock, who's there? Arrow, who's there? Tell me who's there. Did you? I'll never get rid of this music. I love it so much. Arrow. Arrow, who? Arrow who? Are you gonna say Arrow in a nutshell? Arrow who just got a thousand followers! Uh, congratulations! S.O. Bro in a nutshell. Arrow is such a bro! Check out Arrow, my first and best mod. Uh, at the same time as Minako, the both of them are the best mods. Together they form the coconut. The greatest mod duo ever to conquer the world. Also, you can see Arrow um, right now in chat, but you can also see Arrow two days from now in his first D&D adventure, fighting monsters and listening to this beautiful music that you hear now. <gasps> Cut back, soup, virtual YouTuber! Welcome to the party! I thought I was already following. Well, I know, I know the feeling. I know that I today um, saw that embarrassingly I wasn't following Ember's brother Kai. Anyway, I was 100% sure I did. Uh, anyway, Cutbug, let me roll the die for you. 
Your luck today is three, the number of party and having fun. This means we're gonna have so much fun in D&D. I prepared... Well, I didn't really prepare too much. Uh, I prepared a plot mostly. We'll do. We'll use our imagination. Gonna prepare you to two days from now. Catbug and Era are gonna participate together in a group. Both of them have no idea what's going to happen. I'm just writing the the lore, and then I'm gonna take a small break to um, use the loo, and then uh, we can start the stream. We can start the D and D a bit earlier if you want to. You can tweet it to the world. Um, right now, let me just complete this lore that we're writing here. So, they got married, and since they live together in the palace. Okay, so Osric Teller, a bard and close friend of Percy, who sometimes visits the, uh, the valley in his quest for new stories. One time, after a, telled, a felt chaotic spell done by Senri, Osric and Percy were combined into one creature with two heads, although they don't talk about that incident anymore. Well, let's go, don't talk about that incident at all. Today, Percy is juggling between keeping the library, acquiring new books, teaching, sword fighting to new guards, and leading on strategical decisions against against the rebel Tanuki tribes, while also trying to sit with Senri at least twice a week and read her stories while they fall asleep together. Trickster Valley. A path of demonic shape shifting. Ah, a place. Sorry, sorry. yeah, a place of demonic shape shifting. Uh, animals, mostly Kitsune and Tanuki, surrounded by thick magical trees that protect the sacred town folk from stray adventurers. At the center there's the chaotic palace, made of wood and a bit of, uh, made of wood and a bit of, I want another word for chaotic, a bit of unexpected, a bit unexpected in nature. Well, let me close the door. Every time I close my door, uh, Meshi, my cat, jumps like, oh no, he's gonna... What he's gonna do? He's gonna put pills in my mouth again? He's gonna put, put uh, drops in my eyes? What he's gonna do to me? <laughs> he's gonna put me in a cage, take me to the vet? Not again! Stairs can lead to random places and sometimes spit you out. For example, let's go with this. Tails. Well, Queen Senri has her full nine tailed magic. Percy has only one tail. Although trying many different methods, he cannot seem to grow the second one, second one, second one yet. Um, for now, he fears. He knows. He fears he knows the reason, but currently not telling anyone. Mm -hmm. By the way, Percy, do I have you on Discord? Because I'm gonna send you this later. And for some reason, I'm not sure I have you on Discord. Which is a good time to message Percy and Senri with my Discord. So add me. Do -do 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 -do. And I'll send you this once I'm finished. You can post it in whichever way you want, if you want to. And if you post it, I'm gonna share it, screaming it from the roofs. Say roofs, right? One roof, two roofs. Okay, where are we? Currently not telling anyone. Percy's powers. Fox magic. Like most kids in a Percy can create illusions and change into any form. If he doesn't move. When hit by a sudden attack, there's 20% chance of turning into a leaf and disappearing. <laughs> uh, and you know what? And teleporting back to the library. Mmm, I like that. Purple fire. Percy can conjure purple flames to attack enemies or deliver message. I'm gonna go to call it Foxfire. Because Foxfire is like a known uh, known magical attack of, of Kitsune. Oh, you're so quick. The Magician. Bloody... Uh, wait. Percy can conjure purple flames to attack enemies or deliver messages. He His control over the fire is limited to the number of tails. Okay. Bloody Magic is a kitsune conjuring using, conjured using chaotic blood. Let's just... Let's... As a kitsune... 
of Kyoto Blood. Fastest mage in the West, exactly. Using some Fox Fire to deliver the fastest. <laughs> fasted. <laughs> You've been fasted. As a kitten of Chaotic Blood, Percy's blood can be used as a weapon. As... As a weapon. When getting hurt... When getting wounded... Or injuries. Injuries, um, I, I think, fits more. When getting injuries, the blood solidifies into the form of... In into... Solidifies... Into sharp sword-like objects. That Percy can use to slash or throw. Telepathic bond. Percy has a mental connection to Shenry, and they. Percy shares a mental connection with Shenry, and they can communicate through thinking in any rage. Range. Librarian Genius. As an avid book reader, Percy has developed the ability to read as fast as 50,000 words per minute and completes at least 10 books. Let's go with five. At least five books a day, as well as a perfect memory. Uh, able to remember everything he reads, read, everything he reads, and know the location of every book in the valley. Sword fighting. Percy has trained in sword fighting with the Royal Guards. Oh, Royal Guard. Okay, Royal Guard since childhood, but still has a lot to learn. When using chaotic blood swords, His chaotic blood swords sometimes home on the target, helping Percy improve his skills. His skill. Okay. Dreams. Although busy with his multiple jobs, Percy. Although busy with multiple jobs. And that's Henry. So fast. Although busy with multiple jobs, with multiple jobs, Percy wants to read more books from other countries and travel the world with Senri. Write a book and even make... And... One day... Make costumes and own a costume and even... Even own a costume shop. Floof goes zoom. <laughs> I love that, that you refer to yourself as Floof. <laughs> floof. Some of these dreams contradicts. So most of the time, Percy just overwhelms himself with work. Mm, so he doesn't need to decide. Or to, to, to choose. One day he wants to grow nine tails, reach his full potential, and be a worthy king for Senri. So I get the hint that he's not a king yet. Um, let's write something here. Unfortunately, to become a king, a kitsune needs at least eight tails. Uh, seven tails. No, eight. Eight tails. Hello, Orlando Quizzle! I hope Microsoft doesn't buy the tabletop RPG maker as well. What did they buy this time? What, what did Microsoft buy? <laughs> I fear the words as well. Oh yeah, please no. Whoa. Whoa, what am I missing? What did they buy? Did they buy something today? Something important? Microsoft recent purchase <laughs> everything <laughs> now another store list of merges and acquisitions by Microsoft oh well I'll keep a blind eye yeah he's not a king because his position due to marriage with Henry is a uh, prince consort oh I see that's important so um as of now, he's a prince consort. As to become a king, a kitten needs at least eight tails. Okay. Color to green, animal, island fox, Pokemon, Del Fox, number two. Tower card, the magician, sign, Gemini, Capricorn. Oh, uh, you know what? Changes. 
uh, varied. Gemini next to Sanri, Capricorn while alone. How's that? Percy has two zodiac signs, depending on it changes depending on his location. I think we're pretty much in the clear here. That works. Okay. <gasps> also got a friend request from someone really uh, that I really wanted to be friends with for a while. Hey, hearts, fire, and this one, and and wait. Sometimes it's so hard to find emojis. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep this. Oh wait, I'm gonna use this one and this one. <laughs> Overwhelming her with with emojis. <laughs> Okay, okay, I think this is ready, right? Percy and Senri, is there anything you want me to add or mention or remove or change? I'm pretty satisfied, I think we covered a lot. Anything to add or change, it all looks good. Perfect. So, with that, with that, we're gonna open Discord and we're gonna find the magician Percy and we're gonna copy paste this here. I'm gonna send this to Senri as well, just in case. In case Percy loses it. And your lore is done. Hello, Dr. Saxe. Thank you for the for the cut gifs. <laughs> gifs, gif, gif. Gif gif. Gif. I'll go with gif. <laughs> gif. So. We have about 15 minutes until the until the time, and I don't want to go. I do need to go to the, um, to to pee, but in the meantime, in the meantime, let me change the background to something a bit more fitting for D and D, which I think this one works really well. Control F. Control F doesn't work. You promised me it will work. Control. Fit to screen. Control F. Why that? Uh, well, that's not fit to screen. This one fits to screen. Okay, VTube Studio. Now, this fits D and D a bit more. Hmm. Very flamey. I love these videos. I should get more, more, uh, more videos like this. I should make a loop video of Meshi, my cat. Just, I should have a Meshi cam. I need to get another, another camera and have a Meshi cam. Oh, oops! I removed the hat. Wait. Oh no! I removed the hat by mistake. A different button. Wait, wait. I'll get the hats again. We can't get rid of them. They're gonna stay until the end of the stream. You did buy them, you're gonna get what you paid for. Oh no, the hats are in the wrong order. Wait, I'm gonna put this purple again. No, why is the hat here? It's supposed to be on top of this hat. <laughs> Go away. Let's try this again. No! Why? Oh, no. Okay, this goes here. And this hat goes like, like, like this, here. Yeah, this is good. Yeah, I got hats. Oh, 
And now, now, let's close this and mm, let's do this. I'm going to go to Twitter. I'm gonna go to Twitter and I'm gonna go to to the post I just did with uh, with 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 Percy, or is it? Now here's the secret. I'm gonna delete the. I'm gonna copy this and use it again. I'm usually deleting the. Um, the Twitch link and all the the supporters tags after the stream, because I don't want the crowd to to burden the supporters too much. So I'm gonna remove this. Now I'm gonna do another tweet. Another tweet. And in that way we're gonna put them again. Oh no, it messed up the order. Why? Why? Why Twitter? Oh, this is a waste of time. Wait, I'm gonna do this in a different way. Oh no, it's the sausage factory. Don't look at the sausage factory. Wait, this is Discord. Why do VGBers need so many windows? We need like seven programs running. This is so confusing. Okay, okay, okay. Um, let's do this. Get a picture. Get a thumbnail made for Cutbug. This one. Um, in a few minutes. Let's put a red thing here. Live. Live on Twitch. In a few minutes. Gonna play one on one D&D with Cutbug, who never played D&D before. Mm, it's gonna be chaotic. Maybe. <laughs> Let's go with this. Let's do these tags. Let's remove the Vitor Uprising. I'm gonna put it. Uh, oh, let's skip it. I want a DND tag. You know what? We don't need a DND tag. We have the, the, the word DND. Then I'm gonna go here. We have the tag. We're gonna tag. We're gonna. We're gonna. Take all of these supporters. Put them here. Ding. Ding. And then we can take all the tags and put them here. Then we're gonna put a heart here and fire here. Live on Twitch in a few minutes, gonna play one-on-one -on -one D, D with Catbag who never played D, D before. It's gonna be chaotic, maybe. Let's leave it with the chaotic. Vitiber in Vitiber, Vitiber Uprising. I think this is good. Okay, let's do it this. It's cut bug. Do you prefer to be called Elbow or Mimic? Uh Mimikun is good. So nice of her to ask. I wonder if she's on stream. Sometimes when people send me Discord messages on stream, I just read it out loud. <laughs> Minako sometimes gets angry. Like, hey, I'm listening to the stream, you don't need to read this. Hello, Catbag. 
Welcome to the stream. I'll be right with you. Let's change this. Uh, VTuber one on one DD with Cutbug Soup. And we're gonna change it. Oh, it's already on DD. Perfect. Mm hmm, that's good. Okay, we gotta change this music though. I've been listening to this music two hours now. Let's see what we have here. Hello, Otto. <gasps> subscribe. Oh my god, a gift subscribe. Peppermint, thank you so much. To Nimbo. Oh, this is so great. With your gift. I'm going to roll the dice for, for, for Nimbo five times. That's seven. That's uh, another seven. If you get another seven, that's jackpot. That's an 11. You get two more. You got a four. You got a five. And last one, because you got a gift. Do, 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 do. It's a six. Almost seven. You got two sevens. Uh, I don't remember what's the highest number. So I get two sevens. That's 14. You get almost a jackpot. That's two thirds of a jackpot. Welcome. Your luck is amazing today. Now, let me just change this music because it drives me crazy. That's... That works. This one also works. Mommy Mortem, welcome to the party! Thank you for joining! It is the mommy himself, let me roll the die for you! You get a three, the number of party! Drinking together and having fun together! Just wanted to prove I'm still here. Peppermint! Yeah, of course, <laughs> you probably still here by, by gifting a sub, a sub to someone. That's <laughs> a, a great way to do it, thank you so much! Um. So, Michu, <gasps> Michu Pichu is subscribed to me. Oh my God, Michu! Wait, I gotta, I gotta shout out everyone. You just check them out, click on them. Where's Arrow when I did him? <laughs> Michu, hello. Let me roll your luck. Michu, as a subscriber, you get five rolls and the best one. Um, is that the luck you get for for moving? Uh, congratulations on moving and buying shelves. You know that Michu, Michu Pichu, she she carried shelves alone from IKEA to her apartment. It took so much out of her. She did a really great job. Michu, you get seventeen. You get three. You get twelve. You get two and. A one, so we're gonna go with the highest one, which is 17, that's a huge amount of, of luck. Also, uh, enjoy the subscriber budge permanently. <laughs> I think this music works, right? For the D&D int introduction? Or this one? Or, what's this one? This one, this one. Peppermint! You. Peppermint, thank you so much! And cut back soup, welcome! Welcome, that's all I can do for today. Oh, thank you so much. Everything, I, just being here and saying hi is more than enough. But thank you so much for this. Cut back, you're gonna get rolls 19, 6, more, 18. That's some really good lore, wars, war, ro, rolls. <laughs> Lores. Thank you for the sub. And 5. And for the gift, 19. 19 is your top result. You're gonna get amazing luck for today. <laughs> Someone said it's like microtransactions. <laughs> Buy subscription for more rolls. This one is good when we start. This one is fun for like a witch or wizard hut. We're gonna go with this one, with the village. That's good. Now, we have five more minutes until we start Dindy, so... I'm going to 